This project has probably been three years in the making. When the first container showed up, it was like, this thing's real, it's a go-ahead. I'd be lying if I said some of these setups didn't scare me and the consequences, if they go wrong, are extremely high. We're dealing with some weather right now. Clouds coming in, rain, thunderstorms, but making this thing happen no matter what. Now it's like we have the opportunity to test out a few setups and ride it. And just to ride ramps this big has always been like a dream of mine. And I like when my bike feels like a roller coaster. Getting Morgan and Michael up here is just because I enjoy hanging out with them and I know they enjoy riding similar stuff to me. He was just sessioning it. Every two seconds he's like, no, it's just like this, watch. Whoop. Comes back up, see, watch. Whoop. And I was just like, hmm. <laughs> For some reason that just stressed me out, freaked me out. Crashing is part of it. You kind of just deal with it when it happens, obviously. Look at this beautiful mug. <laughs> we were three days late finishing up the project, dealing with weather and wind, and just waiting for the right time to do it. Three, two, one, action! F this wind, I'm fucking pissed! This is definitely the biggest setups I've ridden, the, the hairiest, the gnarliest setups, and like, there's a lot of room for error on this stuff. I'm at the point where I can ride stuff that's truly gonna scare me, but the feeling of overcoming that and conquering it is what I chase. Should we go? 